up guys? Here today to talk about the GK Tech Roll Center Correction Kits. And what we have here is a 7075 T6 aluminum engineered little wonder. These little bad boys are going to provide you with a bolt-on 40 millimeters of roll center correction and bump steer correction. Now I'll be installing these on a stock S13 knuckle. GK Tech makes them for S14 and S15, so keep that in mind and buy the right kit. On a side note, to get the most angle out of the S14 and S15, you need to cut off a bump stop on the actual knuckle and on the lower control arm as well. These are a truly bolt-on alternative to cutting and welding knuckles, which in my book is one hell of a bonus. You can also get up to 60 degrees of steering angle with the proper modifications and a good alignment. Good alignment is key. You want to do that anytime you mess with your suspension. All right, let's head over to the car and slap these puppies on. First step is going to be to remove the knuckle. Now thread the studs into their respective holes. Now go ahead and slip the cone-shaped taper over the tie rod inside. At this point, you may have noticed the studs go below flush, and there's a reason for that. And the reason is, is you want the knuckle to mate flush with the roll center correction kit. Once the knuckle is flush, unthread the studs until they fill the tapers completely. You don't want to see any gap, but the tapers do need to be seated properly. At this point, you can install the nylock nuts. I'd like to point out that on the S14 and S15 knuckles, you will need to remove a lock stop that resides right about here. Next up is getting the nuts snug. You're going to want to use an Allen wrench on the bottom to hold while you tighten the nuts down onto the knuckle. Now just repeat this for the tie rod side. Use a torque wrench to see how much drag the nylock has, and then add that to the value of your final torque, which for the main knuckle ball joint is going to be 57 to 72 foot-pounds or 71 to 86 newton meters. Now for the tie rod end, it's going to be 22 to 29 foot-pounds or 29 to 39 newton meters. Remember to place the washer above the lower control arm hole. Time to head back over to the car. Now that you've got your entire assembled unit, take the big taper and place it on the lower control arm ball joint end. Next, place the washer on and place the completed assembly on the lower control arm and the tie rod end. Next, take the factory castle nuts and tighten them down on both the lower control arm and the tie rod end. The same torque specs apply, 57 to 72 foot-pounds and 71 to 86 newton meters for the lower control arm nut and again 22 to 29 foot-pounds or 29 to 39 newton meters of torque for the tie rod end. Lastly, install a cotter pin into each of the castle nuts. And that's it. Congratulations on now having corrected bump steer and roll center. Now get out there and shred.